Yo, what's up, family? SGK23 TV Network. Back in the building. Ninja Gang, what's up? All my riders, what up? Got a little unboxings. I figure I just get through it. But before I start, I just wanted to say peace and blessings to everybody. And yeah, let's go. All right, family, what's happening? Let's do this. As you can see, I got a couple unboxings from STG, Revzilla. Um, they're shipping, you know, uh, not everything in one package. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. I was going to say, all right, I'm going to wait till everything from this package and the other box gets here. Let's just do it one at a time and make these videos fun. I just always just want to put this out there. I'm not rich. I'm not wealthy. Um... I save my money, I put things together one at a time, and uh, I work hard, you know what I mean? COVID pandemic is crazy, and just to put that out there so people get an understanding of savings, um, if you just save $5 a day, um, that's a nice little chunk of change every month. L let's not even mention $20 or the, or the Sparklets bottle wave, just drop five twenty dollars a day in there and at the end of the year pop that open but as you can see stg right here driven racing i always try to show you guys the numbers uh this is pretty neat again all cnc it's all going to look wavy with impact tech you know the candy blue stuff that i'm doing with them so this is just the oil fuel cap but it's pretty dope as you can see, <clears throat> little things go a long way. Driven racing, CNC, candied out. You see, it has the little gasket and rubber to replace the black one. It has like the little hole if you want to put like some chicken wire and all that. So I got that from STG. You guys seen the sticker <clears throat> at the beginning right there. I think that's a little dope little add-on that's gonna match that candy blue sub cage and then from there we'll see what else we do with impact tech nothing too crazy just trying to make sure that we take care of our bikes uh some thread locker some blue joint you know what i mean that's gonna be needed obviously you want to get the big one and hold on to that but you know that's 30 bucks or something so like i said we got to do what we can yeah new spools them blue ones gotta go or i might do one red on one side and one blue on the other side but again i always want to show you guys the numbers or whatever it is and this is from stg and these pools look wavy i like these a lot better than the blue ones to be honest with y'all and just so you guys can see how it's set up for you for your 2020 you have a washer and the, the way the washer is positioned, you want to make sure that when you put it on, as you can see right there, the rounded part goes in and where you have the little CNC lettering, that goes towards where you're going to screw that down. Obviously, I like to use thread locker not only on the end of the screw, but throughout the spool and then position that right now with the rear stand i can really position that driven racing properly and these are pretty awesome outside of the chain adjuster with a big puck that's blue so we're on point right there on the back what else uh maintenance there it is stg I might buy some fairings off a of van from, from uh, sportsbiketrackgear.com. Uh, so uh, that's that. And we got some all-purpose grease, which is needed for everything, especially uh, for my levers. I needed that and a couple of other ones to add to the collection as far as to maintain the bike. And I still need some more stuff. There is the all-purpose grease, waterproof. This is what I recommend. Again, I try to show you guys, you know, the numbers and the parts and things of that nature. 
So again, I cut out on, you know, dinners and eating out and, you know, uh, I smoke black and miles, which I'm quitting, you know, that's $8 a day. You know what I mean? Chop that up in a month. Speed wax. You guys can read it for yourself. Along with the MPPL and the chain wax and uh, the chain lubricant. Uh, the SC1 uh, right here. High gloss coating. I still need a few more. You know what I mean? The most expensive stuff is going to be when I do the sprockets, the chain, the brake lines. Not really the spacers. That's about 80 bucks. The engine work that's being done right now, obviously. And fairings and all that stuff. That's going to be where, you know, it's going to hit me. And rear sets. I got to do the rear sets. The way it's set up, the 400 doesn't work. The seats as well. Um, I might do the ergo seat and get that seat done so it's an inch higher. And obviously the suspension. I need, that's another 600. That's where it's going to hit hard and we're going to need savings. And that suspension, bump that up one inch higher on the seat. Uh, Clip-ons, obviously, to raise the bars maybe three-quarter inches. And here we got Revzilla, one out of seven items. Another grip set. These are really, really well. I did my research on these. And I'm I'm gonna have like three, four, and I and when I decide which ones, the rest are be gonna be given away, along with spools, bar ends. I like these because the it's real foamy on the throttle, and then a lot softer on the clutch side. See again, which ones do you guys think look better? I kind of like the black and the reddish. But the quality of the full red ones right there, the Driven, it's just way better. These right here, the, the quality, how they feel, this is way better. And that's the pickup. You know, a little fuel cap, spools, speed wax, SC1, all-purpose grease, some Loctite, another set of grips so we can get everything right. There you go. These are hard to get right here. Not easy to get. But again, I just want to uh, make sure that everybody understands that this is a project bike. This is the ZX45R Ninja 400 2020 SGK23 project bike. And it takes time. It takes money. But again... I'm cutting down on everything and saving as you should when you want to do stuff like this. And it's not done overnight. Those right there, I don't know about them gold uh, bar ends. Stay up.